So to a section from the chapter Liberty and Health from Within Reason. On September 11, 2001, I was in New York City. As I remember the event and its aftermath, I recall the palpable fear in the city. In the days after 9-11 attacks, I started to see this fear reflected at the national political level, among lawmakers and eventually in the laws they passed. The Patriot Act, passed with near unanimous support in the Senate, emerged from this climate of fear. Much about the Patriot Act has since been rethought. It has been seen as, at best, an overreach and, at worst, constitutionally dubious, leading to no-fly lists and the discriminatory targeting of Muslims. Given how controversial it has become, it is important to remember how reasonable the Act seemed at the time it was passed, how, gripped as we were by fear, we were able to see its broad provisions for pursuing terrorists as a rational response to the threat we seem to face. What many have since regarded as a liberal overreach looked, in the context of fear, like prudent policymaking. This is worth noting as we consider the habits of mind that lead to illiberal thinking. A small L liberalism emerged from an intellectual culture that prized reason above all else. During the Enlightenment, thinkers tried to pursue lines of inquiry based on empiricism rather than on the passions of the moment. Illiberalism, in a sense, reflects the opposite of this, often emerging from climates of collective stress or fear. Such feelings can persuade us to put aside reason and embrace some illiberalism to make us feel safer in a dangerous world. Maintaining a liberal public health means recognizing when we are making choices in this state of mind and working in such moments to keep reason always in view.